Good morning, everybody. We're starting our day. Is it even morning? I think it's afternoon. I can't even remember. Uh, we're starting our day with a bit of, a bit of food. So I'm going back to that uh, street food stall. He uh, just opened up the one. Uh, hopefully, he's actually selling what I need. But we got the. Uh, I think it's the same thing. Oh yes, these are my favorite things ever. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. These are the best things you will ever have here in Pakistan. Honestly, my favorite food. We got people selling apples. We got bananas, oranges. We got other kinds of things. We'll have uh, some of this. Biker. Um, he's on his phone. I, I think he's just starting. Maybe. Maybe these ones are. A fresh. Salam. Salam alaikum. Uh, Dean peace. Dean. Acha. Here we are. Three. Just like this. He's getting door. Door piece. And in here is all the batter. So that's a fresh batter mix for the whole day. I think these ones are pre cooked too because I came here the other night and uh, we got to see them freshly made. But I think he's just setting up shop today. Bit of radishes on top. But that's not for me. I'll tell you what one is for me. Acha, Dean. Here we go. Oh. Uh, spicy? A uh, total, total spice. Okay. Little bits of spice. Okay, okay. We got some uh, chutney, no? Uh, chutney. Chutney. Oh, oh. And all those kinds of things. Yeah. Oh, curd. And some radishes on top. Hell yeah. How good is that? Shukriya, shukriya. We will use. Yeah. Just use a bike as our uh, as our table. <laughs> and we'll use we'll use this car as a tripod. Alright, how good is that? We got the tripod on the car and we were using the motorbike as the table. But here we have, I don't know what the name of it is, but I had them yesterday. They're damn good. Here they are, like this. Let's get a, a big mouthful, start off the day right. A bit of breakfast or lunch, maybe brunch. I think it's like 1 p.m. Oh man. These are the best things ever. So delicious, so tasty. 30 rupees each. That's a, oh, I got a bit of spice there. Got a big bit of spice. 30 rupees each. I think uh, around like 25 cents. Less, maybe like 20 cents each. Oh, look at that. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Oh. Wow. It's just a whole mix of flavors. Yeah. Chutney, you yeah, like kind of the the uh, taste of the actual fried bread, whatever it is. <laughs> then, like you saw, he literally put like four different kinds of um, sauces in there, all mixed together. A bit of curd, radishes. This is the best meal to start your day. Let's put it back on the uh, the motorbike here. Actually, maybe that was a dumb idea because I only have two hands, or one hand to eat. <laughs> Here we have a big bite. This is a, a mama bite. Oh. Oh man. That is good. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. So many flavors. Spicy, crunchy, soggy as well. <laughs> which is not usually something you'd hear. Crunchy and soggy, because the outside of this is super crunchy, but the inside, when it's mixed with all the sauces and the spices, it actually like kinda disintegrates a bit in your mouth. It kinda just melts in your mouth. So let's get some radishes on here. Get a big scoop of that. A couple of slithers of radish. And the last bite. Man. These are good. These are good. Oh man, that is delicious. I have to come back here. They're so good. 
Not as good as cheese broth, but they're uh, they're up there as uh, one of my favorite foods here. Let's go pay. All right, so if they're 30 each, we had three, so should be around 100, 100 rupees. Buy it. No, 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 no. I'm leaving that there. Shukriya, G. Shukriya. Dude, people are so friendly here. You can eat like a full meal and they still won't let you pay. You have to like literally leave the money there. <laughs> uh, what a great guy. Let's go see what happens the rest of the day. I got to check into a new hotel and uh, we'll check it out. Let's go. Chill. Bye bye. Australia. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. All right, everybody, time to get to the next hotel. Unfortunately, they didn't have any more bookings for uh, this night. It's like a kilometer that way. So I was going to walk, but I'm like, uh, it's funner with a tuk-tuk. So we'll, ha we'll uh, flag down a, a rickshaw in a moment when one comes by. Mr. Rickshaw, where are you? Oh, they got one in there. Yeah, all right, there's two options here. Tuk tuk. That one's full as well. They're all full. Oh, here's one maybe. No, no, bro. Come on, man. Ah, here. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Here we go. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ek, ek kilometer right. Acha. Thank you. Oh, my back. We made the whole tuk-tuk move. Acha, chaloji. Okay, bye. Ah, bye bye, thank you. Yeah. That was a good hotel, guys. The Luxus Grand, I recommend it. All right. So we go this way, then, uh, then we're heading right in about 500 meters time. And we're at our new hotel, which I'll show you in a second. Where is it? Acha, yeah. It is okay. Okay. Yeah. Acha. I think this is somewhere nearby. We've gone like a kilometer. We'll just walk the rest of the way. Kidna? Uh, what hat does we? Thank you. Shukriya ji. Thank you. Oh, we're literally on the middle of the road. Oh. Like, well and truly on the middle. You've got to be careful here. Shukriya ji. Wafties. <laughs> All right. Let's hope we're on the right area. All right, I made a mistake. It's actually uh, a little further down. So we've got to wait. Wait for the uh, traffic to go. I think it might be that building down there. Here we are. Follow the traffic. That's the rule here in Pakistan. When I said follow the traffic, I didn't mean like literally go through the traffic. But that's, that's what's happening. Salaam alaikum. Hello, hello. Hello. I am literally in the middle of the road. I probably shouldn't have walked this way. Salaam alaikum. Yeah, we'll walk on this side. Try and get off of the, the main road. The thing is, all the bikes, they come up on the side of the road because obviously they can fit versus like the other cars. Salaam alaikum. All right. That was an entertaining uh, past minute. But here's the hotel, the Grand Millennium Hotel. That's what I'm saying. It's around like 40 US a night. We'll go check it out after we cross this road. Goodness, we need to get across. Oh, so many bikes. Shukriya, thank you. Shukriya, thank you, thank you. Here we are. Now, the next half. <laughs> this is crazy. Here we are, we've got a gap. Perfect. But you don't have to watch out that way, you've got to watch out this way as well. Everybody's coming from all directions. All right. Wow. 
Here we go. The Grand Millennium. All right, reception is no longer there. Oh, it's like a full. This is weird. They must have like rented out the bottom section. There's offices and everything. Oh, this one looks more like the thing. There we go. The Grand Millennium Hotel. Perfect. This looks more like it. Hello. How are you? I have a, a booking for Luke. Uh, booking.com? Um, book, yes, booking.com. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, just for one night. Is it or juice? Uh, juice is okay. okay. Thank you very much. Oh. Shukriya. All right, everybody, all checked in, ready to go. Room number 201. 201. It's a good room? Yeah. Ciao. Urdu 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 Wow, this is a very open and unique room. Like, usually they're really small hallways, but we got all the rooms there, and here's ours. Oh yeah, very nice. All right, everybody. So this is what around uh, 50 Australian dollars gets you. It's around 40 US, uh, 6,000 Pakistani rupees, whatever that is. If you want to do the conversion, pretty good. I'm actually pretty stoked with it. It's fair decent. So we're going to go into the bathroom first. Quick little glimpse there. <laughs> but here's the bathroom. You've got the toilet, shower, just a regular shower. Actually, it's pretty spacious here, I must say. Uh, bathroom, kind of all your typical bum gun stuff. Let's see what the bum gun's uh, pressure is like. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. I've noticed in Pakistan, in comparison to other countries, they have good pressure on the bum gun. They know how important it is. So uh, it's always good knowing that you're gonna have a solid bum gun here in Pakistan. So we've got everything in there. Here's the room, it's actually pretty big, you know. Considering this is kind of like budget accommodation, you know, around $40, it's, uh, it's pretty good. We've got the bed there. We got a nice little desk, we got another sofa chair there, cool little table and TV, and then we got a nice little mirror. And then we even have this other little section, kind of like a little living room where you can chill out, walk, look out the window. I must say the blinds are a little bit, a bit, how's it going? <laughs> They've seen better days. Uh, they don't really like go up really. It's kind of just like halfway up. And we got these steel bars like as if we're in prison, but hey, you know, pretty nice view overlooking that old, ratty building <laughs> but yeah kind of uh, it feels like i'm in a bit of a home detention prison like i'm quarantining in australia in hotel quarantine or something like that here is the room everything else is going on um we got a mini we got a mini fridge in here oh we even got a couple chockies how cheeky is that they're dripping for some reason we got the uh nougat and coconut bar there's two of them uh, some seven up, no waters. Oh, they're right there. Let's put them uh, in there for later on. One thing that I only realized on this trip to Pakistan, and I don't know how I've only noticed it here, is that every single time I've been in a hotel, they try to charge uh, like kind of like a deposit, you know, in case you're eating any of the, the, uh, like the snacks in the fridge or if you break anything. So she charged 8,000 rupees on my card. Uh, even though it was only like 5,500 and then you get the money back in cash afterwards So that's, that wasn't the case like when I first came here in April So I'm not sure what's changed since then. But here is the bed test everybody The uh, the floor's a bit sticky, but here's the bed test. Let's hope it's soft one, please. Oh Wow, that is a good bed. We've had some good beds here in Lahore guys. The Luxus Grand Hotel was nice This one was nice Wow, the pillow's traveling. Oh, we got a really colored pillow here. Look at that. Interwoven colors, pink on the other side. Oh, right. Oh, the pillow's good as well. Bed gets like an eight out of 10 pillow, around like a seven out of 10. I think that's pretty good. So I'm happy with the bed. Yeah, that's the room everybody. Here it is. We got a cool little painting <laughs> to top it all off. And we got a knock. Let's see what happens. Ah, 
Ah, orange juice. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Shukriya ji. Hey, you can't complain when you got an orange juice. Mmm, mango juice. Nice. Time flies when you're having fun, right? It's uh, already night time, so I'm going. Are you saying excuse me to me? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's night time, so we're gonna go get some food. When I was checking out the fort uh, a few days ago, I uh, came across this food street, right? But it only uh, opens at 6 p.m. onwards, so we're gonna head there for a bit of din dins, and uh, we'll see what we get for dinner. So let's get a rickshaw there. Yeah, it should only be like a couple hundred rupees. But we'll see what happens. Guys, we were on the side of the road looking for a rickshaw and we came across, what's your name brother? My name is Sohil. Sohil, so he's uh, watched the videos. How did you see me? It's so dark. I'm surprised you uh, recognize no, me. it's not too dark. Uh, I'm just coming from my office and oh. I just see you and I recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. And surprisingly, I know your name. Yeah, yeah. You're... Which is not uh, <laughs> frequently I know. Of yeah, no, thank you. But surprisingly, I know your name. Yeah, and it's cool if you uh, take me to the food street. Yeah, it's, it's honorable, man. Thank you so much, brother. You're an absolute legend. Okay. Let's do this the Pakistani way, right? Hop on the bike. Oh, are you joining with me uh, with this? <laughs> oh, what is this? Uh, these are uh, what is called peanuts and uh, the corn. Ah, like, ah. Maybe. Oh, they're good. <laughs> All right. Sunil, Sunil alright? Which way you are going to? I'm going to the uh, the fort. Fort? For the food street. Uh, fort food street. Honestly guys, this is just like the definition of Pakistani hospitality. Whatever you need to help out, Sunil's an absolute legend. This is why I love everybody. Riding through the streets on the back of a bike, you know? Doing U turns at lights. Yeah. Oh, ho. sorry if you're watching this, mum. No helmet. And sorry to my insurance company. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the food street. Chello. We're going through all the neighborhoods. <laughs> where, where are we now? We are in, uh, uh, in the center of Lahore. Uh huh. It's also called uh, Old Lahore. Ah, uh, this is like near Old Lahore. Wow. Everybody selling stuff for your those cool things. Oh, that looks tasty. All the retail markets are situated, situated here. Ah, the retail markets. Yeah, you can see you got leather goods. We got T-shirts, people selling, and uh, all these like street food items, and a ton of traffic. <laughs> Not just trucks and uh, horses and stuff, but people walking in and out, weaving around. So I'm gonna go. We're. Uh, we're right in the middle of everything. So Han, is this normal traffic in Lahore? Yeah, this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> Every day? <laughs> Look at this. It's crazy. Motorbikes, trucks, tuk-tuks, everything. Pedestrians walking in the middle of the street. Like as I was saying, you really have to be a skilled driver to navigate all of uh, the areas here. And, you know, like, I guess after growing up here for many years, you know, even as, as a kid, people are here that they're experts at this exact kind of stuff. So it's no issue for them. I think this car is what's causing all the issues. It's just parked in the middle of the way. Yeah, look, this guy realizes it. Oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. That was a close one. What, a, what animal is that? It's a... What, what is it? Goat. It's a goat. A big goat. That's the biggest goat I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it looks like a camel. <laughs> I was like, is this thing like genetically modified? It looks... That is the biggest goat I've ever seen. Wowee. What the hell? There's water everywhere. And there's potholes. This is the wildest motorbike ride I've ever been on. Look. Look at this. It's like it's been flooded. Whoa! Hey. Oh yeah! Hot 
holes, water, tuk tuks, everything, you name it, we got it here. We almost got a crash as well. Assalamu alaikum. Oh my god, this road is just horrific. <laughs> this is crazy. push your way through here and hope for the best this is actually insane so the whole main road is basically uh, oh I think I just almost caught that on camera the whole main road is uh, getting repairs done that's why all these back streets are absolutely packed you can see there they're doing something um, so the main road that the whole city uses to transport is not actually uh, of use at the moment. So we've got to find our way around. Wow, we so finally. <laughs> Do you want to join me? No, no, thank you very much. No, are you sure? Uh, yeah, it's too late. I have to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe next time, so, alright? Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you as well. Thank you, honestly. <laughs> thank you so much. That was a crazy past hour of my life. Yeah. But you're a good driver. <laughs> we didn't nice. crash. <laughs> Sohan, what an absolute legend. I probably cut that down to like three or four minutes of uh, footage, but guys, that was like the craziest hour of my life. But we finally made it to the food street, everybody. In here, there's a ton of food. So let's go and uh, check it out. How are you? You good? I'm fine. Is this your restaurant? Yes, of course. Oh, it's the first one. I got to walk around and see what's going on. All right. It's very good. Yes, of course. I have Chinese food. Oh, I want to <laughs> shooting. Do you have cheese paratha? Uh, yes. Oh, you have cheese, cheese paratha. paratha. Cheese naan. Acha. Uh, and your uh, Chinese food. Okay, I'll, I'll come back for cheese paratha, okay? Okay, brother, I'm waiting for you. What's your name? Uh, Numan. Numan. Lovely. Thank you, bro. Okay. <laughs> Shukriya. <I'm ready. laughs> Alright. Fun introduction. So this is like the food street, everybody. It's not as lit up as I thought it would be, but I imagine uh, kind of like down that way, it's a little, it looks like a little bit more hustle and bustle, but we walked down the street uh, a couple days ago when we came to Lahore Fort, and uh, it was empty. There was nothing. What we got? Chickens roasting on the coals there. We got uh, what's this? Fresh chai being made in the clay pots. And oh, these are the shishas. Assalamu alaikum. You like this? Assalamu alaikum. Chai tandoori. Ah, tandoori chai. That's the word I remember. Assalamu alaikum. All right. Well, let's find something uh, to eat and. Uh, We'll see what happens. All right guys, so honestly, it's not as big as I was expecting and I thought it'd be way busier. Um, we kind of like walked past all the food areas. We got a couple of tandoori chai uh, places there. Uh, but now we're kind of like down to the artifacts and actually this is the where we had chai a couple days ago with that uh, security wall. Uh, so there's nothing really down that way. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. Let's go. All right, so these guys seem to have a lot of uh, Cool things on display. They got the clay pots. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, sir. Yes. Are you okay? Fine. You're good. Yes. What do you have? You have uh, what chai? Tandoori chai. Tandoori chai. Yes. Kashmiri chai. Kashmiri chai. Which one is better? Uh, Kashmiri, Kashmiri chai, chai is good. All right. Well, we we had that in uh, in Islam, but maybe I'll have. Oh, the clay pots are in there. I'll have one tandoori. Hey, I bought your log. Ah, <laughs> thank you, bro. <laughs> uh, my name is Hassan Ali. Hassan Ali, nice to meet you. you. Thank you, thank you very much, brother. Uh, Can I please have one tandoori chai? Yes. yes. You, you will uh, make it here? Uh, nay, just tandoori chai. Tandoori chai. Yes. You will make it here? Yes. All right. Uh, here we go. This is so cool. I've never seen anything. So he grabs it from the middle. Oh, it's hot. Cold. Super Cold. hot. Oh, I wish you could light it here. Look at that. 
Wow, wow. That is just how hot that tandoori chai is. Oh, you're, you're spilling. Yes, one second. All right. Oh, let's get another one. Oh, wow. Look at that boil. Oh my goodness. I was actually not expecting this at all. So I guess he keeps doing that yes. until all the heat is absorbed or uh, I don't even know. So this gives the taste, right? Uh, yes. Ah, so that's why they were broken ones. They give the taste, kind of the crispy taste and then this one here, this is the, uh, the one that we drink out of. Maybe. Oh, all right. Pause it again. And here we have the fresh tandoori chai. First time I'm actually gonna have this. And sugar? uh, yeah, yes. Sugar, brown sugar. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Very tasty. Thank you. A whole bit of sugar in there, make sure it's super sweet. Kidna? No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. How much does it cost usually? For, for the video, I want to know how much it costs. No. <laughs> Too kind, Dan, honestly. So kind. Your vlog is very, very ah, beautiful. Thank you. Is this going to be hot? Ah, oh, it's okay. Subscribe to your channel. Thank you, Hassan Ali. Shukriya. All right. Uh, very hot cup. It's hot? Yes. So I should wait? Yes. All right. Let's wait a minute. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Ek minute. <laughs> we'll be back in one moment. They just pointed out the gulab jamun. You have gulab jamun? Yes, garma garam monster gulab jamun. Monster? Yes. Can I see? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's there. <laughs> oh. Gulab jamun, honestly. One of my favorite sweets here. They're so damn good. We had them very first day in Pakistan. We love to share sweet things in your life. Yeah, thank you. I'm sure this is going to be very sweet. And it's even a little bit hot. Let's see what it tastes like. Gulab jamun. They're big ones. Oh. Look at that. Let's split it in half. Oh. oh. Very hot. Yeah, very hot. Let's see how sugary it tastes. Oh, wow. It's really lip smacking. That is delicious. That is so good. So sweet. It tastes like a fresh, warm, sugary donut. Oh. And it just melts in your mouth. Wow. I could eat these all day. How good. Wow. Very good. That was so worth it. That is so delicious. I might have to get a couple more later on. Oh. All right, everybody. Here is the uh, the tandoori chai. 150 rupees. I eventually got the price uh, from them. But here, let's give it a, a taste test. Are we filming? Yes, we are. Is it hot still? Well, not too hot. Tandoori chai. Actually, let's take this off. Oh no, we can't. It's too hot. <laughs> right, tandoori chai. Oh, oh, all right. Let's get another taste quickly. Okay, so the main difference I'm noticing between like this and normal chai that I've had previously is this kind of tastes like a little bit more uh, with like a masala taste kind of. Uh, like a hint of uh, like cinnamon, hint of spices and really that, that strong kind of masala taste and obviously it's presented in this super cool, well not cool, it's hot, <laughs> this super cool uh, play tea pot or teacup. Oh, that tastes so good. That is so good. And they're even making some more right now. Look how steamy that gets. 
man. This is good. Ah, super hot, super warm. And because it's boiled at such a high temperature, you even get the bubbles and the froth kind of like at the top. So once you pass that bit, it's all chai. Good. All right, we're about halfway done here. It's so hot. It's still steaming. You can see the hot steam coming off And I feel like the further I get down the more hot it gets which is not how it's meant to work scientifically I don't think mm. But still such good taste And I just really love like the decorations here all stacked up on each other great presentation and around here you have the ones that are used for the tea in the middle. They're getting super hot on the Bunsen burner or on the gas cooker. And then those ones around are the ones that are used uh, to actually serve the tea. Uh, just like get a little bit warm. Perfect for the, uh, the customers. Yeah, we've almost finished this. Let's uh, get the rest of this down. That was delicious. Yes. That was, uh, that was fantastic. The tea is fantastic. <laughs> How much? Kitna? No, 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 I can't, I can't. It's okay for you. No, no, no. Thank you. Uh, Shukriya. Thank you. Great, uh, great way to start off the evening. Bit of tandoori chai. I told you I will be back. Yeah, let's do it. As long as you have cheese prata. Yes, of course. You have cheese paratha? I have cheese paratha, cheese naan. Gotcha. All right, I'm happy yeah. then. Here, we'll sit over uh, this way. So we're not disturbing the patrons while we do our food review. This place? Yeah, here's okay. I can, uh, I can... Live singing. Ah, oh, live singing. Yes, of course. Come in. All right. Well, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, thank you, brother. Thank you. I'll sit, uh, sit here. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. All right. So we found our spot for the night. Got some live music. I have cheese naan. Oh, you don't have cheese paratha. Cheese, cheese naan, cheese paratha. All right. Well, let's have a look. See what we are gonna get. Uh, what is the best one? Barbecue, good. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at the. Uh, menu here. We are Karahi, Chinese, Tandoor, coffee and tea. Alright, I'll come back to you guys in a minute and we'll, we'll see what we decide on. Guys, we're going to change it up a little bit and we're actually going to go for some Chinese food. I'll have one uh, chicken chow mein yes. and How one... How much? One. So that's uh, 7.45 rupees. And I also have one uh, cheese paratha. One cheese paratha or one potato? Yes. Uh, you ordered 25 minutes. How much? 25 minutes. 25 minutes. 25 uh, Pakistani minutes or yeah, Western five, minutes? Five Pakistani minutes. So like 50 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> I will say cheese naan, 4.95 rupees. So it better be good. Oh, and also uh, egg money. Acha. Shukriya. All right, let's enjoy uh, a nice uh, bit of live music. Oh, yeah. Bit of cheese naan. I'm, uh, I'll eat this quickly, give you guys a taste test. And then uh, I don't think I'll show the other meal. It's just so loud here. So uh, I won't be filming much. But here we are. Alright, cheese naan, cheese paratha, cheese pizza, let's see how good it is, it's dripping everywhere, alright, let's see, alright, interesting, very interesting, wow, Pretty spicy. Wow, it is so loud in here. I'll see you guys when I'm outside when it's not as loud, alright? See ya. Thank you. Thank 
nice to meet you. <laughs> Goodbye. Look at this. We got monkeys. <laughs> no, no, no. Monkeys, goats, owls, everything. Anyways, our Uber's out the front, guys. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Honestly, the uh, the chicken chow mein, it was so loud in there, but it was really good food. The uh, cheese naan was a little bit disappointing, but the the uh, chow mein made up for it. I got a takeaway as well, so I'll eat that later on. Let's uh, get in this Uber. It's somewhere around. Here we go. Oh. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Kareem? Acha. Kareem? Acha. Alright, guys. That's us done. Thank you. Alright, guys, back at the hotel. That was like a, a much quicker trip. I don't know if it's because uh, rush hour had ended. But it was like 15 minutes. But guys, the price of Kareem here is so cheap. It was like 300 rupees for a 20 minute drive. That's less than two dollars. So I gave him an extra bit of cash. But we're gonna head back into our hotel. Salam alaikum. Ah, tika. Kaise? Acha. Scotty, Scotty. All right, everybody. We're gonna finish up the video here. As always, thank you so much for watching chase your dreams and we'll see you all in the next one goodbye